Yeah, yeah. Y'all already know who it is. Shout out to all the subscribers. It's your host with the most, Paul Frank, reporting for DJYTV. We're going to get right into it now. We're on an early morning grind right now. Coming across a lot of things that we need to talk about. So I'm just going to go ahead and kick it off like this, basically. We got Master P going at Monica. And not exactly, but, you know, it kind of seems like there's some kind of feelings there, as he was seen on a video, basically showing some signs of frustration. More than likely, it seems to be some sort of loyalty issue. Might be against uh, Corey Miller, which we all know as C-Murder, which is now uh, talks of possibly Kim Kardashian and Monica teaming up. To get the man out of jail, which I hope it happens. He's been locked up for a hella long time. And it's time that the man comes home, goes back to his family, and continues his life uh, after, you know, all this crazy stuff. Um, and Master P was seen on video basically voicing out his frustration. I don't think it's anything personal towards Monica or Kim Kardashian, but I do think it's something that he was not aware of as these two women jump into... You know what I'm saying? Action and try to save um, C murder uh, from you know from the sentence or whatever. I really want to see him get out, but it seems that Master P was kind of taking shots at people saying you know that he uh, basically he, Master P was coming out and saying that you know they're not being grateful for all the stuff that he's done. As you know, Master P has built an empire and fed plenty of families, has raised. Um, his kids to be young adults and very responsible. Master P has employed a lot of people throughout the years and continues to do so. So, you know, it seems to be some sort of family issue there that possibly just needs to get cleared up. But as of now, he has come out on two videos. The first one, he was kind of going ham on the situation. The second one, he was more calm. So I do think it was just a matter of a misunderstanding that's probably going to get worked out. Um... The second thing I want to talk about, uh, you know, we're going to keep you updated on this as more develops and the stories keep coming out. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about was actually Nas went on the Power 106 LA um, interview and he pretty much cleared the rumors of the Doja Cat diss that everybody's talking about um, on the song, on his new album. They talked about his recording process. Um, and a couple other very interesting details that they shared. It was all love. The interview was really cool. You guys can go check it out on the Power 106 LA channel on YouTube. But basically Nas came out and said, you know what? He was just having fun with the words. Um, and did not intend it to be a diss. Uh, he is an MC and he obviously is into wordplay and did not mean for anything to get started. And the guys from the interview also pointed out the fact that, you know, it's such a great body of work that nobody really needs to make this uh, all about the Doja Cat diss. Um, so he did clear it up and say he was just having fun. He didn't mean to target Doja Cat with anything in regards to that. Um, so it's to be taken lightly, um, not as people was putting the spin on it. So, you know, it's something that uh, kind of even gives it more credibility because Nas has always been like a humble dude um, and he's held, you know, obviously is a top tier MC in the whole rap culture. Um, so moving on though, we do have some news from Ice Cube as he released a video going at the Democratic and Republican Party because recently the Democratic Party, you know, kind of celebrated um, their move onto, you know, this uh, new campaign. And he basically went ahead and stated, you know, uh, that's great that people are happy about that, that they're celebrating, but there's still a lot to be done. There's still a lot for these people to tell us, uh, come up with a solution for all the crazy stuff that's going on. The pandemic, police brutality, uh, immigration, just every, every topic that you could think of all across the board. Ice Cube is keeping us sharp, is keeping us woke. The man has basically said, hey, you know, there's things that they got to do for us that the government has to do and they have to earn your vote. You know what I'm saying? So he's very outspoken and he's not losing focus. He's not being distracted by all this Hollywood stuff and all this other extra stuff that's going on in the world. So Ice Cube is definitely somebody that I look up to. One of my favorite rappers of all time, as you can see back there by the wall. Um, 
So this is something that I'm going to keep you posted on because I believe that Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying, is going to be the one to kind of lead people in the right direction and remind them, you know what I'm saying, of all the stuff that's going on. Uh, he came out with a short video kind of talking to the people, you know what I'm saying, to just be alert, be aware of what's going on and don't take your foot off the gas because we got to stay alert and make sure that these people are going to do what they say they're going to do. It's not just about getting Trump out of office, but it's about making things better and what's going to happen once he gets out, once he gets out of the office and how are we going to solve this. So shout out to Ice Cube, shout out to DJ Y, DJ Y Jr. for putting me on. You already know that. Shout out to all the subscribers. Hit the comments. Let me know what you think about all this. I mean, I really want to know some opinions. Um, and last but not least, we got some news from Busy Bone as he went on his Jam TV, put out a new episode. And Busy Bone basically told the story of what happened at the MTV Awards and after they had that crazy performance with the hearse and everything and the horse carriage. Uh, and as you all know, Busy Bone was arrested right after that. So Busy Bone goes ahead and tells the details of the story. And it's pretty funny to see. As you can see, he's very animated, very cool and laid back. But he's also energetic when he's telling the story. So you guys need to check that out on Jam TV. I'll break it down in the details and basically... He said that before they went on, he was actually kicking it in an area where there were some people that were not able to go in. One of those people was actually Fat Joe, and Fat Joe was hollering out his name and actually wanted Busy Bone to wear a chain. So he gave Busy Bone a chain. Busy Bone was like, yeah, I'll rock the chain, go on stage, perform. And basically, they went ahead and on stage, and they gave one hell of a performance. It's one of the greatest ones that they've ever done. And it's definitely going down in the book. So after everything, you know what I'm saying, was done, the guys were off stage and they were celebrating, talking to each other. Busy Bone was approached by none other than an agent from New York Police Department. And Busy Bone was basically taken down to the station, questioned, and they tried to press charges on him. They tried to get him because they said he was stealing. Uh, he stole the purse from somebody at a strip club. So it's really crazy. Busy Bone goes ahead and explains the whole situation. He says Tamika Wright actually tried to come for his defense and she was fighting the whole time. She actually followed them uh, in her car, followed the cop car um, to the station, tried to get Busy out the jam. Um, however, you know what I'm saying, he was kind of detained and he was questioned. And basically he realized at that very moment that he was kind of being set up by hip hop police so, you know, it's just one of them things where I feel like they target certain people and, you know, everybody has to be on the lookout, especially these guys, you know what I'm saying, rap guys, celebrities. But it's really interesting to hear, you know what I'm saying? So I want you guys to go check that out. Make sure um, that you hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the news. You already know what it is. It's your boy Paul Frank reporting for DJYTV. Catch me on the next one. Salute. Ain't none of us untouchable. Most of you hoes post pictures so you look fuckable. A lot of you niggas. <laughs> Your number one source for bone news. Hit the subscribe for DJ Y TV. <laughs>